There are three slightly scary things about moving to Chicago, Illinois that I'm gonna share with you in this video. Because I'm from here, I'm not gonna camouflage anything. I'm gonna tell you straight up. So if you wanna know what those three scary things are, then keep watching. What's happened, everybody? This is Austin Weiss, your go-to real estate expert right here in the Chicagoland area. If you're brand new to my channel or returning, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tap that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, and show me some support by leaving a comment down below and smashing that like button. All right, so I just wanna take the opportunity to thank everybody that's reached out to me directly about their move here in the Chicago Metro from watching my videos. And if you're planning on making a move anywhere in the Chicagoland area, whether it's this year, next year, or a few years from now, you can always reach out to me by phone, text, email, and I would love for the opportunity to help you in any way possible. All right, no doubt about it, moving can be one of the most stressful things someone can do on top of packing and relocating all your stuff. You have to find the right neighbor to live, discover the ins and outs, and make sure it's the right fit for yourself and your family. So I was going to make a video about the top five or 10 scary truths about living in the Chicagoland area, but it really comes back to three main things that consistently come up in most conversations I have with people who are planning to make a move somewhere in the Chicagoland area. So I'm just going to give you my honest opinion about what's going on here living in the Chicago Metro, starting with number one, living in the big city. Now, moving to a new neighborhood can be scary, especially if it's a major metropolis like Chicago. So some of the main discussions I have with people that are considering a move somewhere in the Chicagoland area is which neighborhood should we move to? Where should we live? What's there things to do there? How do we commute to work? Is there access to public transportation? Things along those lines that fit with your lifestyle. So with Chicago being the third largest city in the country at just under 3 million in population and just about 10 million in the entire metropolitan area, there are dozens of neighborhoods not only to choose from in Chicago, but dozens of suburbs that sprawl to make up the entirety of the Chicagoland area. So if you're trying to figure out where to live, make sure to watch this video in its entirety but I put a bunch of my other videos in the description box below so that you guys can click on those, watch them, and get a better perspective of what certain areas of Chicago have to offer. With a diverse workforce, it has attracted 400 major corporate headquarters located right here in Chicagoland. We're big in trade, transportation, utilities, education, healthcare, and technology. Whew, that was a mouthful, which makes Chicago the ninth richest city in the world. And because it's so heavily populated and everybody's trying to commute to all those fantastic jobs, you will find traffic during the major rush hours in the morning and the evening. On Fridays during the summer, a lot of major corporations actually let their employees out early. So there's a tip from someone who actually lives here and knows not to drive on the highways on Friday afternoon in the summertime. Now, I would highly recommend you take advantage of the fantastic public transportation here in the Chicago Metro. With the Metro train lines running and spider webbing out from the city of Chicago out throughout most of the suburbs, and the CTA train lines going throughout the city and the Collar Burbs, they're fantastic, very affordable, and they're usually on time. Uh, also, there's a fantastic bus system downtown and in most suburbs as well. So if you can help it, don't drive, but if you have to, I'd highly recommend you rent out a parking space from one of the many numerous parking garages or use Spot Hero, it'll be your best friend. Now, if you're looking for things to do, Chicago has diverse food from all around the world. And actually recently it was named the best restaurant city by Bon Appetit Magazine and the number one city in the world for both eating and drinking by Time Out Index. And just recently, Forbes named it the number one beer city, not for the biggest breweries, but for the wide variety of breweries. And in addition to eating and drinking, Chicago has all the major sports teams. It has fantastic live entertainment between musicals, theaters, concerts, and music festivals. And it's just awesome to go downtown Chicago in the summer and see the air and water show as well. Now, Chicago isn't all fun and games all the time, so if you wanna hear some of the cons about Chicago, you can watch my pros and cons video right here. Number two scariest truth about moving to Chicago is the weather, and they say the only thing that's predictable about Chicago weather is how unpredictable the weather here in Chicago actually is. Now, it's fun for me to get emails and calls from people that are not used to the cold weather or snow, and they describe it as some terribly horrific event, and they can't imagine how people actually live there. Now, 
the winters really aren't that bad, especially over the last five years or so. We get really mild weather, but when it does snow, and it's usually after the new year, the streets are plowed right away, traffic moves, and when they know a major snowstorm is coming, they salt and plow all night anyways. Now, because of the pandemic, schools and school districts have pretty much gotten away from snow days because of e-learning and it's really great because most of the snow like i said it comes after the new year and expect winter to last from about thanksgiving until the first week of march with crystal clear gray skies and the coldest months being january and february but in most chicagoans opinion it's well worth the wait through winter to get to the beautiful summers to play in the waters of lake michigan boating beaches and the lakefront trail and then the colorful fall weather is second to none i always tell people it's well worth it to have the four seasons when it comes to nature because we don't have the huge flying bugs large poisonous snakes creatures swimming around in the waters uh, you'd find in warmer weather um, there's no forest fires hurricanes and since we lived next to lake michigan we have oodles of fresh drinking water so there's absolutely no water shortages uh, they're not an issue and it's green here in the summer i just had a family relocate here from arizona they could not believe how green and luscious everything looked here in the summertime they said that arizona's brown and and just dead looking all year round because of the heat and they absolutely love it here moving on to the third scary truth about living in chicago illinois is the cost of living and the housing now compared to other major cities chicago is much more affordable when looking at how far your dollar will go and for real estate costs the average house for a single family detached home in the city of Chicago is roughly 325,000, but that's gonna be dependent on the neighborhood you are shopping in. It could be less, it could be considerably more. So it really depends on the area and the style of home you're looking for. With a wide variety of living options from lakefront condos with a beautiful skyline view to manor homes with plenty of space for all your favorite activities, to bungalows built in the 1920s along the bungalow belt. If you wanna know more specifics about the cost of living here in the Chicagoland area, I did an entire video where I broke everything down from real estate cost to taking your loved one out to dinner, which you can watch linked right here. Now I will touch on taxes and Illinois ranks in the bottom third of states in the country for taxes between the property tax income tax and the sales tax on purchased goods and that's an unfortunate price to pay for fantastic schools clean streets and the state pension system don't think that'll ever get fixed unfortunately even though i personally think it should now the market has been crazy here the last two years with the pandemic homes were selling well over asking price in minutes with multiple offers and since the interest rates have climbed upwards that has kind of gone away now i always tell people good houses and great neighborhoods will always get a lot of interest but it really depends on the area and the style of home you're looking for but with a fantastic plan put together before you ever go look at a house and an agent that actually knows the market and knows what they're doing is vitally important i would love for the opportunity to schedule a dream home call with you no hassle no obligation just providing you with all the information you need to make the best decision for yourself and your family if that's something you'd like to do you're always welcome to reach out to me by phone text email days nights weekends and again i'd love for the opportunity to connect with you and help you in any way possible with your move but until next time i'll catch you guys later